Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel Learn Math with Sayyid Ali. Today we have a we have an assignment question uh, regarding the same which we were practicing before in three of the previous lectures. And the question is the sum of angle of a pair of interior angles is less than the big one. So there is a pair, right? Interior angle is a, always a pair. So it's a small angle of a pair of the interior angle is 10 less than the bigger angle. So there are two angles. One is less and other one is bigger. And he's saying that one angle is 10 less than the bigger one. What are the measurements of the two angles? Right? So this is assignment question. Read it thoroughly and try to solve it by yourself. In a moment, I will put forward you the solution. So read it one more time. The small angle of a pair of interior angles is 10 less than the big one. What are the measurements of the two angles? That means you can say that, okay, there are two angles. One is both are interiors. So both are on the same side of the salient line or oblique line or transverse, right? And these are the two parallel lines, right? So these are the two interior angles, which we learn. And he's saying that one is 10 less than the other, right? So what is the definition of the interior angle? If you, if you just memorize interior angle, interior angles has got the property that their sum is 90. Interior angles, sum sum means addition right sum is always 90 uh, 180 always 180 so that means whatever the angles are right if we suppose that okay let the measurement of the small angle be x let the measurement of measurement of a small angle b x so we suppose that okay so what will be the bigger angle because we have the relationship so the bigger angle will be x plus 10 and what is the interior angle sum interior angle sum is 180 so we are about to make an equation one angle is x, other angle will be as per relationship given to us x plus 10. And the definition of interior angle says that the sum of these two angles is 180 degree. So now I can simplify this equation x plus x is 10, uh, 2x plus 10 is equals to 180. So 2x, 2x is equals to you shift this 10 to the other side of the equation, which changes sign from plus to minus. So 2x is equals to 180 minus 10, which gives you 170. And 2 is being multiplied with x, so it goes to the other side and sit in the division. And that will give you x is equals to how much? 85, right? So I put my one of the angle or the smaller angle is 85. And the bigger angle is 10 more. Right, the smaller angle is 10 less, so the other angle will be uh, 95, right? So therefore, other interior angle will be 95 degree. So if you add 85 degree and 95 degree together, what you will get? 85 plus 95, right? Add them together. 5 plus 5 is 10, 9 plus 1 is 10, 18, 180. That's according to the definition is also correct. That sum of the two interior angles is always 180. So this is, uh, this was the assignment question based on what we learned for the different kind of the um, angles. And one of the type of the angles when two parallel lines are there and one slant line or oblique line or transverse lines falls onto that parallel line there is a formation of certain angles one of them is interior angle interior angle has got the quality that their sum is always 180 so here is the question the sum of angle of a pair of interior angle 
If you do, do, do not remember that, okay, sum is 180, you cannot solve this question, right? Forget about it. So you have to remember that sum of the interior angles is equals to 180 degree. So whatever now the question says, you make it up. You, you suppose that one of the angle is x. Therefore, the other angle will be x plus 10. And that's you can equate to 180 degree because of the definition of interior angle. So 2x plus 10 is equals to 180. And that's how we find out two angles. And we when add them up, we, we know that it has to be equals to um, 180, right? So we have that answer. So we will see after this assignment question, we will start a new topic, um, which is called um, properties of angles in a triangle, right? This was properties of the angles when the parallel lines were, were uh, was cut or was cut by another third line, which was a transverse line or oblique line. So now we will see that properties of um, triangle properties of angle in a triangle and we have learned that before as well so what is the topic properties properties of angles in a triangle and I have been telling student this that this is the most important rule in a triangle that the sum of all the angles of any triangle, sum means addition, sum means addition. If you add all the three angles of any triangle, sum of all three angles in any triangle, in any triangle, is always 180 and that rule we apply several times in our questions and problems is a geometrical rule but apply everywhere wherever we have some structural problem or we have some um, data known for a, for any triangle so any triangle means any triangle so if we can practice some of the questions in this regard right so if we have let's say some questions here so i have a triangle here and i have two angles known this is my 71 degree this is my 61 degree so who will find out this the unknown a right so try it and in the meantime i will draw a few pictures and then we will discuss all the answers so simultaneously maybe the second picture of the triangle is maybe 68 degree here and 40 degree here and I am saying that, okay, find out B. And the third degree, third triangle, I made nothing, but I said, okay, three sides are equal. So this is an equilateral triangle. And in the fourth triangle, I make a bigger angle, which is 108 degree, right? And this one is, let's say 45 degree. And I am asking this angle, which is D, this was C. So these, these are the four. Mm, I have two more. So I can write here maybe and then we can discuss all of them together. So let me draw here. So if I have this triangle, right, this triangle and I have 69 here and I have a mark that these two sides are equal. So I have to find out F and then I have a uh, inverted right angle triangle this is right angle and I know need to know this E whereas this angle is 58 so this is given right so any triangle I mean you can make tons of examples here it doesn't change the rule and you can check by the product protector making any angle any sort of angle uh, triangle and then add their angles um, they, they that will be always equals to 180 degree so applying this rule to these triangles, we can add these two together and subtract them from 180. So my A will be equals to, if you add the two angles and subtract from 180, you will be having 48 degree, right? So here, if you add these two angles uh, together, 40 and 68 and subtract from 180, you will get 72. 
degree. So here, when it's all three sides are equal, he says all three sides are equal, right? So that means this is equilateral triangle and the, in, an, in any equilateral triangle, not only the three sides equal, three angles are also equal. So that means 180 divided by three, which is 60 degrees. So all three angles will be here 60 degree. That is important to remember because it is, a, it is an equilateral triangle. This one here is um, again add these two subtracted from 180. So you will be getting 27 degree. Here you have these two sides equal. That means these two sides equal means F will be 42 degree. So if you add 69 and 69, 69 and 69 and 42, right? So you will be getting 180, right? 9 plus 9 is 18. 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 2 is 20, carry 2, right? 6 plus 6 is 12, and this is also 6 because of the carryover. So you have 6 plus 6 plus 6, that is 18, 180. You got 180, right? So here is a right angle triangle. So here you can see that it is 58. You can subtract 90 minus 58 to get the answer, or you can add 90 plus 58 minus 180, and then you will find that E is equals to 32, right? So this is the properties of the angles in any triangle. What is that? Sum of all three angles in any triangle is always 180 degree. Hope you like the video. If you like it, subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button to receive another video. Uh, share it and like it and uh, thumbs up. Uh, uh, thank you for watching.